Hi everyone and welcome back to DIY Agri. I'm an animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So today I'll be talking to you about broiler breeds. You should know that the kind of broiler breed that you get determines the final weight that you get. It determines their res disease resistance and it determines their height. It determines many things about the broiler. So quickly I'm going to be talking about five ways in which the breed of broiler you choose will affect your business five different ways in which the breed matters yeah before anything i would like to tell you the three most popular breeds that we have in nigeria that is the three most popular breeds of broilers we have in nigeria and they are the ross 308 the cop 500 and the abo acre the abo acre has variants uh, the Aboeka Plus and even Aboeka Plus Plus, but we are sticking to the basic name now. So again, the Ross 308, the Cop 500, and the Aboeka. Later in the video, I'll be showing you the arteries that supply all these breeds. What each archery supplies, that is where you can get each of these breeds, where you can get the Cop 500, where you can get the Ross 308, where you can get the Aboeka. So let's continue. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button like now. Click the subscribe button before we continue. Okay, first I'm going to be talking about the feed conversion and maximum weight of your broiler bed. Did you know that the particular breed of broiler that you choose determines how big they can get at certain age? And how much of feed it will require for them to give you a particular weight at a particular time how many kg of feed will give you the live weights that you are looking for yes this is dependent on the breed that you choose for example you can choose a particular breed and after giving the breed or broiler 2 kg of feed you get 1.2 kg of meat and another one you give the same 2 kg of, of feed and you get 1.1 kg of, of meat so it differs I, I don't need to tell you that the first one is better than the second so this feed efficiency depends on the breed of the broiler that you choose that's number one the feed conversion and the maximum weight at maturity it depends on the breed that you choose you can't get what is not in the breed it's about potential their capacity to do this and that so you can't get beyond the breed the number two is the peak period the peak period of a particular breed there are some broiler breeds that will reach maturity at six weeks and beyond that six weeks they don't grow as fast as they have been growing before so their feed efficiency will reduce while some start to grow even faster after the age of six weeks so you need to know what you're getting and you should know what you are expecting from each another thing is the height you should know that broiler breeds vary based on height their heights are different there are some broilers that are taller than the others so you should know what you want and you should know what you are getting from the cheek stage number four on the list is leg strength leg weakness is a common problem that broiler farmers battle on their farm uh, this is reported every now and then and one of the ways to solve it is by choosing the breed that has a history of stronger legs by the way even if you get the breeds with the weak with the weaker legs what you will do is early supplementation of their feed with calcium this will help to avert the challenges that may come up later in life some breeds come up with leg, leg weakness issues at the age of two to three weeks while some don't come up with that issue until about five to six weeks and even higher depending also on the feeding regime and finally disease resistance this is one of the most important aspects of this topic disease resistance the different breeds that we have vary in their disease resistance that is some broiler breeds are prone to certain diseases 
some are resistant to cold some are resistant to crd and some are prone to crd so you need to know what you are getting so that you can prepare for the worst case scenario if you get a breed that is prone to crd for example you start to prevent crd from the early stage so that you won't have so much casualties so that's that about the breeds i'll be leaving a link to the comparison of the cop 500 and the ross 308 here for you to check you need to check the video and see who has the crown is it the cop 500 or the ross 308 and you also hear about the qualities of the harbor acre that you need to know so thank you very much for watching uh, if you've gotten value from this video i'd like you to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button so that you can keep seeing videos like this don't forget to hit the notification bell for prompt updates when we drop new videos thank you see you in the next video